And then to your point about what's been of disproportionate value, keep in mind, I went through multiple big transitions, right? I went Mm. like the decision to leave Google. Um, I told you I had a failed choice that did not work out with Polyvore, my first startup, Uh, or the startup I went to after Google, where I took a big risk. And then obviously I, you know, uh, evolved again when I became the CEO of StubHub. So the disproportionate value is the continuity. Um, You know, if you give up on having a coach, let's say at year two, they don't, they haven't seen your cycles to reflect back to you. Um, mm. Number two, he has been a constant who's been with me through multiple management teams. He's somebody I can bring in who both has my history, but can help new people get to know me and navigate me, help me navigate them. So I've actually used him even as somebody to get my 360 feedback from because my management teams know that I trust him. So they know mm. that they... And, you know, so they know that maybe if they want to give me feedback and they're too afraid to give it to me, you know, face to face, which sometimes leaders, leadership teams are, it doesn't matter how much you ask for it. They know that I'm providing them a conduit for somebody I trust who can hold their feedback and give it to me. So that history has a lot of value, right? You know, it helps with pattern recognition. So I'd say one of the biggest values has been like, it's one of my longest standing relationships beside my marriage. And it's Mm. somebody who can reflect back to me what I said five years ago, what can stitch together my own feelings of myself with like when I use him to get peer feedback or 360 feedback, he can stitch together other people's view of me and help give me a holistic perspective. Mm. And I know, and I think at the end of the day, this is the value of coaches. We know that, yes, we may be paying them, but their job is to help us be our best selves with no skin in the game other than our success. 